Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's thank and praise our God for this wonderful day that God has blessed on September 19, 2023. That's a Tuesday that we can praise Him, we can bless Him, we can glorify Him. Hallelujah. So let's thank our God for this beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God saved us, protected us the entire day. For that, let's lift our hands and thank god hallelujah thank you lord for your protection thank you lord for keeping us safe oh lord hallelujah thank you lord thank you for giving us sound sleep oh lord father hallelujah lord we thank you thank you jesus thank you father hallelujah with good health oh lord you have given us this day for that we thank you lord let's lift our hands and thank god hallelujah thanking you oh lord master for waking us up today hallelujah and today in christ jesus you're leading us victoriously hallelujah and miraculously for that we thank you lord thank you father thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you father for your good and your mercy endureth forever lord you do miracles for us for that we thank you lord as the water turned into water uh, as the water turned into wine oh lord master and as you raise lazarus oh lord from the death oh lord father the same way all those who are hearing this message let your miracle hand be upon them lord let your miraculous work oh lord be manifested in each one of their lives oh lord as we learn in ezekiel oh lord lord uh, the bones to bones the dry bones came together and came uh, became as a big army oh lord the same way lord you do wondrous things in their life oh lord master lord you bless your children oh lord father with miracles oh lord today oh lord hallelujah as the psalmist says in psalms 54 verses 1 and 2 uh it goes like this save me O god by thy name and judge me by thy strength hear my prayer O god give ear to the words of my mouth fourth verse says behold god is mine helper the lord is with them that uphold my soul six and seven says i will freely sacrifice unto thee i will praise thy name o lord for it is good for he had delivered me out of all trouble and mine eye had seen his desire upon mine enemies so our god delivers us from every trouble such a good father we have let's thank him hallelujah thank you father thank you lord Lord, hallelujah come let's pray our heavenly father we thank you lord for this wonderful day thank you lord for keeping us safe yesterday thank you for giving us some sleep and today you has you have given us this day with good health for that we thank you lord and we bless this day oh lord all those who are hearing this message we bless them in the name of jesus lord in every need of their lives oh lord lord you provide for them oh lord lord you heal your children in the name of jesus hallelujah let there be healing hallelujah lord those who have wounds which are not healing in the name of jesus be healed hallelujah let all the bones join together hallelujah let every sinews to sinews let it join every wound in the name of jesus be healed hallelujah thank you father thank you for touching your children O oh lord lord in uh, those who are suffering with financial troubles O oh lord in the name of jesus let there be deliverance O oh lord lord those who are sick with fever Oh Lord, let them be healed. Those who have throat infection or any kind of problem in their throat, throat, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Hallelujah. Those who are suffering with uh, kidney stone, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Every lung disease, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Those who are suffering with varicose vein, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Those who are suffering with thyroid problems, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Hallelujah. Those who do not have job, Lord, you deliver them. You make a way for them. Lord, in financial troubles, oh Lord, you have done miracles in their life for that. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Those who are struggling or any kind of troubles that they are facing, Lord, let your praise be upon them. Lord, let your mercy be upon them. Lord, we pray for your children who are of age for marriage, oh Lord. You bless their marriage. You bless them with good uh, husband, oh Lord, or a good wife, oh Lord, master. Hallelujah. Let our children, let the young people, oh Lord, go as per your will as per your word lord master let them be led by you O lord hallelujah 
Lord, we pray for those who are uh, serving you, O oh Lord. Let your servants be blessed, O oh Lord. We submit them into your mighty hands. Let their family be blessed, O oh Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Let bless each one of them, O oh Lord, who are hearing this message. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. May God bless you all abundantly. And uh, do remember tomorrow at 8.30, uh, at 9.30 Indian time, we will be having uh, the special meeting. So be part of it and it will be a great blessing and joy in your life for the wondrous things that God is going to do in your life. Hallelujah. Come, let's turn our eyes to Proverbs chapter 3 verses 27 to 30 that we will read today. Hallelujah. So the 27th verse says, Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. So the word teaches us today is that God has placed us in this world is to do good. Hallelujah. The same way if we look at Acts 10 verses 38, we see the greatness of Jesus that he did in this world. Hallelujah. So when he was in this earth, it says Acts 10 38 um how god anointed jesus of nazareth hallelujah with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him hallelujah so even if we pray for someone if we are healing a sick hallelujah if we are praying for somebody's family life hallelujah if we declare uh, peace upon their lives all of these things are good deeds as jesus did good in this world hallelujah as in acts 10 38 we learn that what did jesus do he went about doing good hallelujah he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed hallelujah so uh, god did always good for everyone the same way we need to do it and how we do it because of the holy ghost and the anointing that is upon us so if we pray for someone that is a good deed if we are helping someone who is hospitalized or if sick that is a good deed hallelujah if we are helping someone who have financial needs that is a good deed hallelujah if someone's children is going in a wrong path and then if we are helping them then that that is a good deed hallelujah so we need to help people hallelujah and if we look if someone is in hospital and we are helping them that is a good deed if someone doesn't have a way to uh, cook then if we are helping them with good food that is a blessing hallelujah if someone is hospitalized and we are helping them in the hospital staying with them then that is a good deed my dear friends so let's pray let's be always available to do good for others hallelujah for the anointing that is in us for the holy spirit that is within us will do the great things through us hallelujah so as we are the children of god let's always be prepared let's always be ready to do good and as the word says ahead in 28th verse then shall they call upon me but i will not uh no, uh, Proverbs 3 verses 28. Hallelujah. It says, uh, Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Hallelujah. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. So in Romans 2, uh, 11 and 12 or 10 and 11 also we, we see that we have to be sure that we help others. Hallelujah. Whatever we can do, we should do. We should not negate or we should not neglect someone if we have uh, the resources if we have the provision hallelujah so we should be always available and do good when we do good hallelujah when we are doing good god will bless us with his glory honor and peace as romans 2 verses 10 and 11 says uh, but glory honor and peace to every man that worketh good to the jew first and also to the gentile hallelujah so the third three things that we learn here is that god honors us god blesses us and with his glory and peace hallelujah and the uh, succeeding word says that for there is no respect of persons with god so even if i do any good thing or if you do good thing in every way for each and every one he 
blesses with his goodness with his glory honor and peace hallelujah so if you are able to help someone if you are able to do good for others do it hallelujah if through you if someone is going to get a good job then help them maybe they will not turn back and even thank you for giving uh, or helping them with the job but do good to others because that is the word of god that is the foundation of our life hallelujah because what jesus did we do it hallelujah so whatever be the situation we should be available to do good to others because that is our calling hallelujah let's say together in the name of jesus our sons and daughters shall prophesy our young men shall see visions our old men shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed and we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you. God bless you.